AITA for not having my wife buried next to her long-deceased husband as my stepson desired? My wife died three months ago suddenly after nine years of marriage. I was in charge of her funeral arrangements. We had one daughter together, F8, and her two kids from her previous marriage, M16 and F14, that I adopted. I had discussed her burial spot with my stepchildren and told them I wanted her buried in my family plot where I intend to be buried one day. My stepson said she would have wanted to be buried next to his biological father and her previous husband who died 12 years ago. My stepdaughter said she didn't care either way. I didn't want to disagree with my stepson on something like this so I looked into the cemetery where her previous husband was buried but found out there's only one adjoining plot next to his grave and no plot adjoining the adjoining plot, meaning that I can't be buried there one day. I told this to my stepson, that I can't bear to not one day be laid to rest beside her. I know she loved her previous husband deeply, but she loved me as well. And I've only ever loved her and only ever will. He didn't agree and said she had always hoped to be reunited with her previous husband. We were at complete loggerheads over this, but in the end it was my call and I made it. He was so upset with me and still is. He earlier said he needed time to get past this and now says he needs me to apologize. My stepdaughter thinks we shouldn't be having this fight because it doesn't matter what happens to anyone's body once they die. I want to apologize to him but I don't think I'll mean it. Even now I think it would have pained my heart so much if I'd listened to him. Here were the top-rated comments from readers in response to the OP's post. Phoenix 612 Info, why didn't you consider cremation and splitting the remains so you and your stepson both have your wishes granted? Relevant School 1586 Nah. There's no right answer to this, but in the end, OP is the adult and it's up to him to make this kind of decisions. For what it's worth, the stepdaughter seems the most reasonable one in the whole family. Runty. Completely agree that there are no right answers on this one, however as a parent myself, granted not in the same position of having to deal with this issue, I am somewhat surprised he chose his own wishes over that of his son when they were at such a critical impasse. In situations such as this, I would think most parents would acquiesce to their child because parenting requires sacrifice really should have cremated and split the ashes and avoided all these hurt feelings. Hella good cabin. What happens when you remarry and die and your new wife doesn't want to bury you next to your first wife, where does this madness end? Tyan. Yeah. He's convinced that he'll never love again. I'm sure his wife thought the same thing right after her first husband died. It makes me so mad for this kid that OP didn't even try to compromise. Yes he's the adult in the situation, act like it. And no, throwing authority around because you have it is not being the adult in the situation. Being the adult would have been a simple Google search to see what other options were available. Considering he mentions going to the other cemetery but not asking them questions beyond available plots tells me he didn't ask anything about the possibility of multiple people on the same plot. He didn't consider what happens in the event he remarries. There are some people that truly never remarry after being widowed but clearly many do and you can't know which you will be until you either find love again or die. I have no feelings in it and I truly hate OP and those defending his actions. I can't imagine the kid will get over this easily. Mermaid 467 Dear everyone, write this down. If you have wishes about this kind of thing, where you'll be buried, etc., write it down. Trick underscore delivery 4609. Nah. I'm so sorry for all of your devastating losses. Apologize and try to make it right with him. See about cremation and burying half with each? See if you can move previous husband location to new area if stepson says okay and you can afford it? Buy enough plots for all now? Plant a memorial garden in his parents' honor? Ask him how you can make it up to him. His mom slash your love of your life would be way more concerned about the relationship than where she was buried. Have you considered that she could be buried next to her first husband and after your death, you could be cremated and the ashes buried in the same plot? 
That is what my husband's family did when his stepdad died and there was no room for another grave in the family plot. The cemetery was willing to put a flat marker where his ashes were buried since the plot already had a tombstone for my husband's mom. His dad is also buried in the family plot, but when the plots were purchased, the family hadn't taken into account that his mom might remarry after his dad's death. Nah. This was probably a topic which should have been discussed, but simply wasn't. Having to make those decisions while you're still in shock always leaves room for mistakes. But I think you should apologize to your stepson. He lost both of his biological parents while still being a child. This is a lot to process and sometimes being angry is a well-needed break from the everyday sadness. Maybe you can suggest to him to add his mother's name to the headstone on his father's grave. This could be a compromise that could help him cope better. AITA for not attending my best friend's wedding? My friend, 27-F, asked me, 28-F, to be one of her bridesmaids for her wedding. She was my maid of honor two years ago, and before that, we'd always say we'd be each other's maid of honor, we've been friends for 20 years. When she asked me to be a bridesmaid it stung a bit, to be honest, but seeing as she has a twin sister that she is close to, it made sense that she should be her maid of honor. The issue I really had with this is that, at one point, before I did barely anything as a bridesmaid, she told me, you don't have to stand with the other bridesmaids during the wedding. I found it weird that she was saying that, but I replied, no, I want to be there with all of you. After a bit of back and forth, she admitted she doesn't want me standing there with everyone because of my fear of being the center of attention and my social anxiety. She was worried that I would have a panic attack just like I did standing there at my own wedding. Honestly, it was bad during my wedding because I was shaking and couldn't breathe, and everyone's terrified reaction made it even worse for me. I had to leave and come back to just me, my husband, and my mother to continue our vows and such while everyone else moved on to the reception. I couldn't even go join them until I was drunk enough to not feel embarrassed. I've been to therapy since then and have made huge progress regarding my social anxiety and my best friend knows this. I felt hurt that she didn't trust me enough to let me stand with the others. I told her I was so much calmer and less anxious now, and I won't even be the center of attention like I was when I was the bride. She said she acknowledged my improvement but just doesn't want to take chances. She said she doesn't want to embarrass me again and that she would just feel worried about me the whole time and was also worried that I would ruin the mood of the wedding if I did happen to have a panic attack. I eventually told her that I'd just rather be a guest if I can't do all the bridesmaid stuff. On the day of her wedding, I was just so sick to my stomach with hurt and sadness that I was merely going as a guest to her wedding that I just decided not to go because I felt so left out. Now she is very mad at me for making her feel bad at her wedding. She thinks I was trying to hurt her and make her feel guilty because of what she thinks was a reasonable request. I didn't mean to hurt her but I just couldn't go because I was overwhelmed with hurt. The people I've talked to are all divided on who is the AH in this situation. I feel bad for ruining her mood on her wedding day but I still feel what she asked of me was hurtful. AITA in this situation? Here were the top-rated comments from readers in response to the OP's post. Ornery Octopus Jesus, Mary, and Joseph YTA she's not the AH because she doesn't want you causing a scene at her wedding. Which 100% would have happened based on your reaction to her decision. C. You're someone who despite saying you don't like being the center of attention, will find some way to make everything about yourself. There's no such thing as a MOH exchange program. Just because you picked her does not entitle you to the same position at her wedding especially in light of what went on at yours which is so beyond the norm that it's not even worth risking. You may think you've got a brand new, shiny, fresh out-of-the-box ability to self-control. You do not. Your reactions are out of whack and frankly out of line. You need to get some more therapy, probably from someone else. You are not some wronged party. Again, YTA. Big time. Ignancage.
Can we address the fact that based on OP's story of their own wedding due to their panic attack no bridesmaids, groomsmen, or guests could be there during the vows? And now is offended she can't be stand there during the vows because she might ruin it for everyone? You don't say 1330. I have horrible social anxiety and 100 years ago face with tears of joy when I got married to the ex at a Catholic ceremony with 200 guests I went to start up the aisle and had to take several deep breaths before I could do it. But my God, we had 200 people waiting and I made it up that damn aisle. Mother underscore tradition underscore 774. YTA. Are you aware that you basically proved her point? She was worried that your emotions would get the best of you, and that's exactly what happened. You were so overwhelmed with sadness that you couldn't bring yourself to attend her wedding even though you said you would attend. Why should she trust that you wouldn't have a breakdown during her wedding? While you might have made some progress, I don't think you're as far removed from your struggles as you think. YTA I feel like you're making this about you when at the end of the day, it's her wedding. I know this is a long-standing friendship, but this reads to me as the bride just trying to minimize the different things going on that are adding to her anxiety on what is for most people a pretty hectic day. It seems to me that she was trying to balance that along with including you. I also personally don't feel that being just a guest at someone's wedding should be this inherently hurtful thing. I think you should have gone to the ceremony and party and supported your friend. Content underscore pineapple 838. YTA overwhelmed with sadness? WTF, get a grip. She was looking out for you and instead you made it about yourself. You chose to martyr yourself by being a guest, so don't take that out on her and her day. Clearly you haven't improved much especially since your anxiety seems to be bordering on self-centeredness, more common than people think. Miss Nicole Elise. YTA. It sounds like you have a serious case of main character syndrome. I don't fault you for your anxiety, but your friend's wedding is not the place to put this to the test. Deciding to bail on her wedding at the last second was another AH move. Her wedding is not about you and now you've gone and tainted what should have been the happiest day of her life. It sounds to me like you haven't done as much work on yourself as you think you have. I broke a promise with my husband and I think he wants to divorce me. Ida? For background, I, 24F, am not Nigerian, my husband, 27M, is. My husband comes from a strict traditional family, I do not. My husband and I don't have a traditional marriage and we are both fine with this. I have a much bigger salary than my husband, this allows us to live a wealthy lifestyle that we could not afford with just his job. I also don't really enjoy cooking or cleaning, he does most of it happily. We also don't want children even though his family is pressing us about when I will be pregnant. Before my husband and I got married, he made me promise to pretend to be a traditional housewife only when I'm around his parents so we can marry. Because I was not Nigerian, I was afraid his parents would not let us marry at all, but when I told them I want to marry their son so I can take care of him, cook, clean, and nurture his children they agreed. Keeping this promise was easy. We only saw his parents two to three times a year and we would mostly visit their home. His parents don't know I work and they think my husband's job provides us with our lifestyle. Recently we had a scheduled five-day visit to his parents where we would stay at their house. I took off work like I usually do for these visits and practiced cooking Nigerian dishes and being the perfect housewife. A few days before we went to their house, my mother-in-law called us saying she was ill. Nothing serious, just the common cold, but she is very dramatic and said we should not come because she will get us sick and to reschedule the visit. We rescheduled for two weeks later. This would be fine if I did not have a work conference. I was chosen to attend a leadership conference by my work and this was a huge deal to me. I would be gone for two days. I cannot express how big this was to me and my husband was very happy for me. I found out about the conference months in advance and I did not want to miss it. I told my husband that he would have to reschedule with his parents because I will not be missing this conference for anything. He said his parents wouldn't let us reschedule and I will just have to miss my thing. 
This made me very upset because it was a huge honor and I have been excited about it for months. He reminded me of my promise and how I will have to miss it. I told him no way and went to the conference then to his parents' house and I told them I was visiting my mom who wasn't feeling well. His patents were upset at me because apparently my, imaginary, sick mom can wait and my husband needs to control his wife more. We returned home and he was extremely upset at me saying I broke our promise. Later, I heard him talking on the phone to his brother in Hausa saying that he should never have married me and should have married who his parents picked for him and said that he is considering divorce, though he never said any of this to me. What should I do? Here were the top-rated comments from readers in response to the OP's post. Poggers. NTA. What he was asking was above and beyond your initial agreement. He could have just said you were sick if he wanted to keep up the ruse. Tight shift 5706. Such a simple solution. But not for a simple person like husband. If OP has half a brain no children. If OP has a full brain, move on. Karma underscore 377. Tell your husband to grow some. If he gets divorced, he's going to have to explain to his parents why his lifestyle went to complete garbage after the divorce. The OP responded here. Fat Jesus 69. Thank you for the reply. Very valid point right here. I am not a lawyer and I fear going to one because then it sounds like this is actually happening, we never signed a prenup so will he take half of my money? Sorry for asking legal advice. Appropriate speed. You'd most likely split half of your marital asset but stop asking here and talk to a lawyer ASAP. Danny Stormborn 333. NTA. But you are the asshole if you don't consider leaving him. You were wrong to accept this arrangement in the first place. Love makes us stupid, I get that, but this is beyond just a little white lie. This is the erasing of your success and dreams. If he said that to his brother, protect yourself and lawyer up. Get out of this shiz show before it eats you alive. This was never going to work long term. Lies are always uncovered, especially ones of this magnitude. You have to keep stacking lie upon lie until you can't keep them straight. Do you want to live your whole life in a lie like this? That lie could shatter at any moment. Can you spend your life pretending to be someone you aren't to appease people who will never accept you? And when the inevitable happens, no children, what lie can you cover that up with? They're never going to approve of you. And your husband doesn't approve of you either if he's asking you to miss significant career opportunities to appease his family. You've sunk years into this silliness, don't waste even more. Think Falcon 2216. NTA. I don't see your marriage working, with age he will become more and more like his parents. Also what if you have kids, will they have to lie too? What kind of values you will be teaching them? His parents are selfish and he is an enabler. Girl you should be the one thinking of divorce, to quote the movie Crazy Rich Asians, it's not my job to make you feel like a man, I can't make you feel something you are not. I bet you in the future, he may even take a second Nigerian wife in secret. Girl wake up he is dimming your light. Deep down he is like his parents, it will get worse with age. Get out before you have kids and waste your youth on him.